What is up, everybody? Panzinator here. Our Cajun Conquest is done, but you've probably known this for a while now. It's, you know, been out for a little while. Um, there's a new DLC out for Hearts of Iron 4, Death or Dishonor. It's time to check it out. So we got January 1936. Let's go to other countries. We have, there are now national focuses for Yugoslavia, for... Romania for Hungary and Czechoslovakia. Let's not do Iron Man mode ever. Um, let's do Hungary. Um, let's go back to the menu. Let's see what it has to say about it. Um, Czechoslovakia. Uh, no, we want uh, Hungary. Hungary, blah, blah, blah. One half of the late Austro Hungarian Empire. Hungary's treated as defeated enemy by the blah, 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 blah. Um, we're gonna try and re we're gonna try and recreate the Austro Hungarian Empire. As bad as an idea as that sounds, it's what we're gonna do. So I'm tired. I'm trying to record videos so I can cover my ass for the College World series. And this is what we're gonna do. Okay, so what do we have? Oh that's fine. We have some divisions. Let's look at our national focus tree. Um Let's see. Strengthen the monarchs. Invite the. Okay, so we want restoration of Austro Hungarian Empire. So we want a balanced budget. Yeah, and all of this crap. Um, reclaim the empire. Because we got a lot of stuff going on over here. A lot of stuff I can't even read through. Industrial, oh my god, this national focus tree is awesome. Yay, Navy! Woohoo! Alright, let's go down, balanced budget, get some more political power. I have 52 men, a whoppingly massive army. Um, let's do that. Let's get you two in this army. So, this is going to be our main army. Um, congratulations, you're, you're, you're our general. Uh, um, congratulations, you suck so you get all this. Whoa. So we got a lot of, we got, I don't know how the new air war works. Um, but this is going to be very bad. So let's do, like, put you on the Austrian, bo Austrian border. Let's give you an offensive line to, like, conquer all of Austria. Um, there you go. Let's go slowly. Let's research the usual suspects. Boom. Shakalaka. And there we go. Let's see. How many military factors do we have? We have... Six. Uh, what's our divisions? What do our divisions look like? They don't even... Oh my god. Okay, let's um start producing... One thing of artillery, but mainly just look at the infantry. I don't care about no template. I don't care about no template. Um, that's fun. Okay, so welcome to Austria Hungary. Um, this is going to end terribly for us, but we're gonna go speed five. Because we can. So wait, how the crap does this work? Um, disband air wings. So at least it like kind of shows us all this stuff. Um, available planes in reserve. There we go. Let's just let's just call this Hungary, Hungarian. Let's just call it Hungarian. I don't know. So we're gonna try and unify the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Should I produce planes? I don't know. Ooh, look, we have like our own stuff and everything. It's so cool. Um, we have no ports, so we can't build naval stuff. Yeah, that's understandable. Jesus Christ, the music's kind of loud, isn't it? I guess no, it's normal. But yeah. Um. So balance budget details. All new sound effects. Let's look at this one. 
We must make the best with the resources at our disposal. Well plan and balanced budget is key to our government's success. Strengthen the, the monarchists. Um, daily support for unaligned. That's awesome. I've never seen that before. All right, let's take a look at what we can do. We can add a theorist, political advisor, trade relations, war industrialist. Um, no, I don't want any of this crap. Political power gain. Staunch monarchist. We can boost all of this stuff. Um, let's do this captain of industry. He seems like a swell fellow. Um, ooh, this is new. So what do I need? I need... I need steel. I need steel. Right? Hi! So we got our steel covered. Eh, we'll worry about this other stuff later. Right, so we got electromagnetic engineering, good mechanical computing, and all of that good stuff. Yeah, I want you to like guard Budapest and shit. I don't know. Our zero men in the army is so bad. This is a disaster. I can see why there's death, art, dishonor. Ooh, can we like send volunteers? We can not. We need 40% world tension. Yep, uh, have fun, you two. So yeah, that's right. Wait, we're not aligned. Wow. So we're definitely a kingdom of Hungary. Um, strength of the monarchist. The first step in returning Hungary to its previous prestige is to strengthen those parties that clamor for a turn to monarchy. So, let's, let us elect a king. Popular support for the nation return to a monarch, monarchy government form that is now sufficient that can bring. We have to think about initiating the process of electing a new king. We're... I know we have low manpower. We don't have time stuff. Okay, we got basic machine tools. Um... Let's see, what's this first? Dispersed industry actually has some good stuff now. Uh... Conversion speed bonus. Da da da. 10%. Does the dispersed industry have a new bonus? I don't know. Let's worry about that later. Let's get... Um... We really should get one of these, shouldn't we? Let's see, what do we want? Do you want just raw factory output or... Um, let's get dispersed industry. I don't know. I always like the idea of dispersed industry more than concentrated industry. I just don't know why. It's just what I want to do. So what are our goals? Our goals are to obviously get the Austro-Hungarian thing going back. Um... Oh boy, let's, let's, let's just get all of Austria, Austria-Hungary going, um, about communism and all of that, I don't know, this is, this is an interesting update, there's a lot you can do with it, okay, let's, let's, um, add this guy, since we are doing this, let's get excavation, since we're like desperate for any resources, what resources do we have? Do we have any resources? There we go. We have some steel. We have a lot of aluminum. Wow. So can we like produce airplanes and stuff? Is that like, our, is that like what we're good at? Elect a king. Um, let's invite the Habsburg prince. Um, long ago the Habsburgs ruled Hungary and under their rule the country was a part of one of Europe's greatest empires. Returning a Habsburg to the helm will surely lead Hungary to greatness once more. Um, there we go. So, oh, Soviet Union's purging, remilitarization, remilitarization of the Rhineland. So wait, I should I should be producing airplanes, shouldn't I? Hold up. Let's build. Let's build a fighter. Yeah, that's like our thing. That's like what we're good at. Let's do that. Let's not trade for as much rub steel. What the crap are we doing? The games are completed. Let's um 
Three for one less. Only get what we need. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. So, trying to get everyone back in the line. Um, what's our main power level? Disarmed Nation. Should probably change that. So yeah, we're, we're gonna try and get the Habsburg Prince to be the king. Hungarian Monarchy. There we go. So we we got a lot. I like how like it basically. Ooh, Italy finally won the war in Ethiopia. That's cool. I like how it finally actually turned non-aligned into like a faction. Can I like boost party popularity of stuff? Um, I can't boost party popularity for non-aligned. Otto assumes Hungarian crown. In search of a suitable king, the Kingdom of Hungary extended an invitation to Otto von Habsburg to return to the lands that were until recently ruled by his family. Otto, who has lived in exile throughout Western Europe since the end of the Great War and disillusion of his father's empire, chose to accept the offer. Today, amidst much fanfare and celebration, he was crowned the King of Hungary in a solemn ceremony at the Royal Palace in Budapest. During his coronation speech, King Otto thanked the Hungarian people for their loyalty and devotion and vowed to see the Habsburg lands reunited once more, promising that this time Hungary would be the dominant con constituent party. No longer a kingdom in name only. So we got an important decision to make. Demand a referendum. Uh, what is this one? The dissolution of Austria-Hungary was a mistake. Austria-Hungary is still stronger together. A combination of butts required. Blah, blah, blah. Austria has made a whole referendum proposal for peacefully joining our two nations. Join Austria by force. Uh, so basically, do we do it by force or do we referendum? Referendum. Let's try and be peaceful. If not, well, we'll we'll kill them. Because like, what 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 do they they what's their military like? Do they, do they have an undermanned military? Because we have an undermanned military for sure. Our military is a disaster. A dumpster fire. Um, yes, we would d definitely like for you to to join us. So join us, friend. We want... Ooh, dispersed industry. Fun. Okay, so it's 1936. It's about to be 1937. Might as well get all this stuff right. I mean, industry is very important. All right, we gotta change our damn manpower law. We don't have that. Okay. Uh, let's get a military theorist. That seems prudent. Let's get construction. Yeah, buddy. This is a disaster. This is fun. Oh boy, hi, Jake. What are you doing? I don't know what any of these things mean. Attract foreign capital. New Romanian Polish Alliance? Wait, what? what are, who the hell are you? You're like the king. Carol II. Um, this guy does look like. I was, uh, in one video I watched, it's like, oh, our guy looks like Kevin Spacey. Yeah, he does. Oh, look at the good old Otto von Habsburg. And this guy, Prince Paul, looks like Prince Paul. Okay, so. We got our, we got our deal go, going. Um, hopefully they get our referendum. Um, yeah. So, hopefully we can reunify Austria-Hungary and then see what the hell else we're doing. Um, demand a referendum. Okay, so we get, let's, we just wait a few moments. Um, referendum defeated. Despite our best efforts, the people of Austria have decided to keep the status quo. Um... We must liberate the country and return it to its rightful ruler. Alright, time to liberate. Oh wait, I should, damn it, I should have read that. Um, let's get industrial crap. Let's declare war. Alright buddies. Alright boys, let's slow down. Bypass, select secret rearmament. Okay. Wait, Treaty of Trian and what? Oh. Oh, that's like where we like decide to part our separate ways or whatever. 
Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna invade Austria. Um, seems like a good idea at the time, right? Right, everyone? Um, you know, they, they, they should, they should join it back with us, definitely. Um, Excavation 1. I should have read that Austria event. You can go back and pause the video, I'm sure, I hope, at that point in time. Um, I should unpause the game so my troops can actually advance. That'd be smart. Right? Right? Anyone? I don't know. Um, if. Uh, we've lost 17 men. That's, oh wait, we're, we're actually the airplanes. Wow. Ooh, let's, um, let's get an interwar fighter wing going of like 50. Yeah, let's do it. I want you to go to, yeah, do that. There we go. Um, I don't know how this new air war works, but it looks a lot better than it used to, that's for sure. Okay, so we're um, fighting for Vienna and Graz, which is important because those are like the two biggest cities in Austria. Manpower! We have some manpower. Why do we have manpower all of a sudden? I don't know. Why do we have manpower all of a sudden? Eh, whatever. We have dudes now. We have dudes. Okay, so... Are our planes actually fighting? No, they're deploying. That's fun. Um... I don't know. I should probably look at how all this works. I don't know. Okay, so... We're just, you know... End of 1936, we're trying to reunify Austria-Hungary. It's kind of a big deal. Um, kind of a big deal. At least we're going to take Vienna. Right? Right, guys? Should I use the cavalry? I choose the cavalry. The Hussar. Hussar. Spelled very strangely, indeed. When the winged hussars arrived. Oh, we're losing an attack. That's fun. Um, what, what's going on? Uh, ooh. We've lost the friendly plane. I don't know what's going on. Never retreat. How do you change this stuff? I don't know. I really need to look at all this. Reorganize air wing. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to pause. That is the end of the episode. But yeah, we're invading Austria because they didn't want to reunify the kingdom. So we're trying to destroy them. Um, but yeah, we're going to restore Austria-Hungary. We're going to protect Czechoslovakia. We're going to do a lot of stuff. Um, but for right now, we're going to do an industrial whatever. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and see see where this goes. I fully expect to get curb stomped by one, if not all, of the factions. Um, so just brace yourselves for that. But until next time, this is Banzanator signing out. Later, y'all.